Let's take a look at the Berry Brothers and Rudd Sustainability Report. So first off, um, how easy is it to find? Um, I went into Google, Berry Brothers and Rudd Sustainability Report, up it comes, first link, good stuff. Interestingly, it goes to a page that's got both the 2022 report and the 21 report. Now that's brilliant, because in 21, they'll be saying, this is what, kind of what we're going to do. And you can have a look at how they got on with the plans that they set themselves in 21 by having a look at the 22 report. So I like that, it's good and transparent. If you click on it, what do you get? You get one of these download kind of reports here, reader. And what I've done here is I've downloaded it and made some markups to it. So um, this is what you get. It's a good quality report. What you're going to see here is AAA quality. You'll see at the end it's got an extremely high score for virtually all of the things that I consider important in a sustainability report. And I suspect, but I don't know, but judging by the tone of the writing in here from uh, Lizzie Rudd, who's the chair, you know, I wonder how involved Lizzie was. If she was involved, um, she's done a really good job. So let's take a look. First off, they're committing to science-based targets. I mean, fantastic. As, as you know, I'm a big fan of that. I think it's the gold standard at the moment. And the minute you see that, you know you're onto the right thing. Everything else to, that follows really is going to be of, of reasonable quality, or good quality, and indeed it is. Let's have a look. I'm only going to concern myself to the first kind of half-ish of this report. The employer of choice, that's more to do with social values and governance. And in this review, really, I'm not really going to concentrate on that one. Look at the environmental stuff. So what have they done? They've had a look at their um, footprint and they've done it across the full 15 scope threes. Um, so everything that I'd like to see in a carbon footprint is in this carbon footprint. Okay, and it's brilliant that they've included it because it's a lot of work. The supply chain, a lot of this is supply chain related. That's not easy. That's not easy. But they've done it, hats off. Second, the layout here is superb. Let's have a look at the layout here. They've just highlighted, is it the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight largest sort of drivers that they've got for emissions. Um, and, you know, not surprisingly, um, you know, the actual wine itself is, is the biggest issue there. I'll talk more about that in a second. Um, total tonnage, I've knocked a point off them or half a point because I had to add it up manually. Um, oh, no, 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 it's there. I missed it. Damn, I've come a slightly different number as well, but there you go. Um, okay, I'll add, the, I'll add that half a point back on. Um, but uh, they work out, it works out when you do all the maths, um, 31.3 tonnes of CO2 per 500 cases is 62 kilograms of CO2 per case of wine that they sell. So let's have a look. They've split it down into different areas. And, you know, it's just so easy to read. It's so easy to read, so well laid out. It's very, very nice. Um, and then they talk about their biggest problem, which is up here the actual wine and the glass used in wine retail. If we compare this to Lathwaite, where Lathwaite were, if you've seen that report, that they were concentrating more on moving more to bulk wine. Well, bulk wine is fine. It tends to be used more for cheaper wines than more expensive wines. And berries are, you know, they're kind of up market. Um, certainly if you've been to their store in St. James is very upmarket indeed. But I think that the, one of the basic problems that BBR had, perhaps Lathwaite, but certainly BBR, is that you know people like to buy wine in bottles. Bottles, by definition, are glass, and that glass is just energy intensive to make. And you're looking at a problem here for the company where it's a systemic sort of problem. They're not going to easily get rid of it. There are some initiatives in here that they talk about um, with NSERC, Glass Futures, making sort of you know, low carbon impact glass. And if that comes off, great. You know, I, I, I do like wine, it's a hobby of mine. And 
I've not seen these extremely low CO2 bottles, but I'm interested to see it. But look, what they're doing here is they're saying, look, we have this problem with the product. We buy and sell a lot of wine. People like it in glass. That's not going to go away. But the thing they've done about it, it's brilliant. They've joined all the right um, industry um, groups. They've engaged the right sort of knowledge partners and Cirque 360, big supplier of glass, etc. And they're doing something about it. Whether they achieve any of these or not, I don't know. I mean, certainly if you look here, net zero glass, I think it's admirable that they're driving it. Whether they can achieve it or not, certainly by 2030, I don't know. But, you know, hats off for trying that. That's exactly what we should be doing. What else have we got? Renewables? Well, you know, yes. Um, they comment in here as well that they're slightly annoyed that the PV, and they show down at the bottom, this is one of their warehouses covered in PV, that they have trouble exporting it to the grid. Um, <laughs> that's the problem, isn't it? Put a big PV array on and then can't actually export the stuff back to the grid, but there you go. Um, but renewables, yes, um, brilliant. Electric vehicles for their delivery fleet, brilliant. Working, this is the big one, isn't it? Working on the actual product itself is brilliant. And, you know, they're even very into working with the actual producers themselves, both in terms of the cork and the actual wine itself. So, you know, it goes on. There's no other sort of surprises in this, as it were. And then it starts talking about the initiatives with the growers, which, which is superb. You know, absolutely no problems at all. Then it moves more on to the, the social values and stuff like that, which, you know, not really going to comment on. Um, so where does that leave us? Uh, it leaves us with an extremely good report. Um, the detail level, uh, four out of five. I would like to have seen some graphs about where they're heading, where they're at. You know, just some progress, how well we're doing, just in a nice, simple format. But apart from that, the details are superb. Uh, the quality of the plan, five out of five. I mean, you know, wine is a hobby of mine. I do know BBR, uh, I do know the industry to some degree. And, you know, there's nothing that they're not doing. They're doing everything they should. And it's well laid out, it's clearly laid out, all the details there. So quality, five out of five. Actions taken again, I can't think of a single thing that I'd look at and go, well, you're not doing that. Um, so five out of five for that as well. Transparency, I did I did put four out of five, four and a half because I didn't spot the fact they'd added it up. I'll move that up to a five out of five for transparency. It's very, very sort of, I don't know, you can see the numbers here. You can see what the problems are. They've written about them. Someone down here has engaged and written down their view of their problem, which is just superb. So five out of five for transparency and five out of five for effort. You know, the chair, Lizzie, has done a superb job, um, no doubt at all about that. So total, um, do you know what, the, the total, I'll take you back up to stage as well. The total I'm getting now when I add my extra little half point back is 24 out of 25, but I'm going to move them to 25 out of 25, because if you look at this, just flip back to this here. If I just go back a page, why I'm giving them bonus point is I've never seen this before. Um, you can actually download the report in French and Italian. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Never seen it before, very happy about that. So well done, Lizzie, for sort of driving that through, if it was you driving it through. So well done, BBR, a superb report, a full 25 out of 25. Never given one of those before, but absolutely superb report. Well